I finally got my paws and my neck on the Fi Smart Collar Series 3. What's up, dog lovers? We've already put the GPS dog fences spot on in Halo through their paces on this channel, but a lot of you have been hounding me for my take on the Fi Smart Collar Series 3. Freshly delivered and still in the box, you feel like digging in with me? We'll tear into the packaging, go over all the features, I'll dish out my initial thoughts, and we'll sink our teeth into how this bad boy stacks up against Spot On, Halo, and a 90 pound tug. Don't forget to pause through the description for any offers or deals on these products. Ready, set, fetch. What's in the box? Oh boy. We have the brains of the whole operation right here. The Phi device, the charging cable. This is the charging base, but also the base. More on that later. It's wireless and magnetic, so the device snaps in perfectly. This right here is the collar band. I ordered it before catching Barbie at the movies, so we're rocking charcoal instead of pink for now. The quick start guide. Seems simple enough, challenge accepted. The first step is to pull back the lock right here. It's magnetic. Then we slide the Phi device in. When you're done, snap that lock back. Now the other side. Pull, slide, lock. Done. Never thought I'd be seeing a micro USB to USB-B charger since I threw out my old digital camera, but here we are, no big deal. Finally, let's install the app. I'll walk you through the setup later in this video. All set, I'm ready to wear this and maybe even scare a neighbor or two. Let's go, pack. What are we digging for with this collar? Well, since it's a smart collar, we're hunting for the brains behind the bark, which means, the accuracy of the live tracking, and why your dog can't just sport an air tag. The activity tracker, because we all need to know if Olive is getting her daily dose of fetch. The sleep monitoring, to ensure Charlie is getting his beauty sleep. Some other clever features like adding your dog walker to the app. We'll also talk battery life, because nobody wants to play fetch the charger. And since we at the Pampered Pup are all about seeing things through those four-legged eyes, we need to consider comfort. And if you're up for a real tail wagging adventure, stick with me till the end. You can watch me down the collar, tie myself to a tree, and bark my lungs out in what I can only describe as a performance that left my neighbor in absolute horror. It's all in a day's work. Can this collar handle your Chewbacca's teeth, tugs, dips in the ponds, and all the other wild escapades? Let's unleash the mystery and find out. The app is your control center. Just scan the QR code on the box and you're on your way. I'll give you a quick setup guide. Log in. Enter your pup's name. I'm going with mine because today I'm the puppy wearing it. Breed? Human. Not an option. Typical. I'm told I have Labrador energy, so that'll do. Birth date, sex, weight, and now a glamour shot of the pup. Adorable, isn't it? All right, grant that Bluetooth access. Connect the charging base, which is also the Phi base, to a power outlet and place it wherever your dog likes to spend a lot of time. Now, let the base access Wi-Fi so it can detect when your pupper is home. Simple enough. Here's where it gets interesting. The Phi base has to be on and Wi-Fi connected all the time. It needs to communicate with the caller when it's in range. So does the app on your phone, and so does the Wi-Fi. Why so many connections? According to Fi, this high-tech game allows the device to slightly optimize battery usage. It's a hierarchy of connections, with the Fi base taking precedence, followed by the app, Wi-Fi, and finally, the GPS and LTE on the caller. So if your pup's lounging at home, the battery's taking it easy. If they're out exploring, expect the power to drain faster. Next, we create the safe zone. If your furball escapes without you, you'll know about it. Just pick the zone on the map, name it, and voila. The app wants access to my motion and fitness activity. According to Fi, it's so they can join me on dog walks, digitally speaking. It helps the caller pinpoint your pup's location better. Now, notification permissions. Make sure you allow the notifications to be delivered immediately. You don't want to learn about Max's interstate adventure hours later. Oh, now comes the fun part, it says. Are we busting a move? Nah, just placing the Phi device on the base to wake it up. All right, I've done as instructed. The collar's all set. I guess my idea of fun might differ from theirs, but moving on. Need to share Zach? I probably should have thought it through before putting in my name. No worries. Anyway, this is so you can invite others in your family to the app. And we're live. Zach is home. Accurate. Time to hit the road for some field testing. On your paws, everyone. Let's go. Chop, chop. All right, so I just took my first walk with the Phi collar here. And what I'm seeing is that it does track reasonably well. There's definitely um, a bit of a delay. The location doesn't update instantly, far from instantly, I would say. Um, and if you look at the map, you can see that it's not tracking instantaneously. I went around a circle up here 
and um, what you're seeing is really more of a diamond shape, so it's not really precisely tracking that location, but it is tracking steps. It does, you know, plot the route reasonably well. It's certainly reliable for the purpose that it serves. I did also do some step counting. Unfortunately, my Fitbit reset on me because it's been a while since I used it, so um, I didn't get that data, but I do have the numbers from my Apple Fitness here, so let's compare them basically 2,838 steps, 2,838 steps, um, according to Apple. And I just got a notification from Phi that I'm at 2,918, uh, according to the Phi. You know, very close agreement there between the Apple phone and what the, what the Phi caller is reading. So pretty happy to see that. Done and dusted. Um, what's that? You need me to charge my Fitbit and hit the road again? All right. All right, I've just finished my walk, so now I have my Fitbit data as well. So Fitbit says that leg of the walk was 2,043 steps. Now, according to Apple Fitness here, 1,675 steps. So the Phi is saying I had 2,700 steps on that leg of the walk. So a bit more of a spread that time around. Um, it was a bit closer the first time. That was a leg stretching 5,600 steps just for you. How about you stretch your thumb to hit that like button? Now onto the fun part. I'm gonna test the durability. I'll haul this collar to the gym to flex some muscles and then tie myself to a tree for a backyard tug of war. But before that, let's stack up the Phi against Spot On and Halo. Let me start off by clarifying something. We're comparing an apple to a couple of oranges. Phi is a tracking device, whereas Spot On and Halo are invisible dog fences. Different breeds, but some common traits. They all let you mark a territory, alerting you if your pup wanders outside of it. Phi pings you so you can kick off lost dog mode and start a search. Spot On and Halo, playing the role of invisible barriers, not only alerts you, but guide your trained dog back inside through sounds, gentle vibrations, or even shocks. They have the tutorials and tools for this boundary training. But can you use the Phi for boundary training? Well, it lacks the bells and whistles, literally, for that task. But hey, if you're up for a DIY boundary training project, Phi's tracking can be helpful for sure. Phi's GPS isn't the sharpest tool in the shed compared to the invisible dog fences but it doesn't really need to be. Because unlike the fences, it's not issuing warnings or corrections to the doggo, so the lack of high precision isn't that big of a deal. Also, the Phi is more of an activity tracker than anything else. An Apple Watch for your pup, if you will, without the heavy price tag. Speaking of price tag, Phi is the economical choice overall. In fact, the pricing is pretty interesting. They don't explicitly charge you for the collar. Instead, you pay for a subscription fee that gives you a collar, unlimited AT&T LTE M connectivity, unlimited software updates, and unlimited warranty replacements. If there's an upgrade, whether software or hardware, it's yours at no extra cost, provided you have an active subscription. Just keep in mind there's a minimum of a six month commitment, probably to cover the cost of the collar. When billed monthly, it's about $24 per month as I'm filming. But if you make a longer commitment of up to two years, you can save quite a bit in your subscription fee. Just to compare, the spot on collar is right about $1,300 as of now but it works without a subscription. However, for features such as live tracking, you'll have to subscribe, which is about $10 per month when billed monthly right now. The Halo Color is about $700 as I'm filming, and the subscription is mandatory, which starts at about $6 per month as I'm filming. Yes, Spot On does come with a heavy price tag, but it's a really well-engineered product. And in my opinion, the price tag is justified. I've explained that in detail in my Spot On reviews and comparisons. I'll put the links to those below. But if tracking's your only goal, then why not just get an AirTag? Well, according to Apple, your AirTag sends out a secure Bluetooth signal that can be detected by nearby devices in the Find My network. These devices send the location of your AirTag to iCloud, and then you can go to the Find My app and see it on a map. The problem with this is that if your pup wanders into the woods or any place that doesn't have an Apple device registered in the Find My network within 30 feet or so, the AirTag is about as useful as a leash with no clip. And unless they make an Apple Watch for puppers, no Apple product can do activity tracking on pups yet. I'll do detailed Phi versus Spot On and Phi versus Halo showdown soon. But here's my snapshot judgment. Phi's a city slicker, perfect for apartment living. Halo fits snugly into a suburban home with a cozy yard. And Spot On is a country lover's dream, fit for vast yards and open lands. Each plays in a different playground, but all of them give our puppers a leash-free life, which we love. Now that we've chewed over the comparisons, we're closing in on the finish line of this video. But hang on, we can't call it a wrap without testing the muscle of the Phi collar. Ready for a show of strength? On your feet. Now for some quantitative tests. Can the Phi collar lift a 25 pound plate? Let's find out. No problem. How about a 45 pounder? Pretty good. Now we're up to a 45 pound plate and a 25 pound plate. So that's 70 pounds, right? Not too shabby. All right. 
This is as far as I'll go because, well, it's getting heavy. I don't want to break my toes. And if you lift a 90 pound dog by the collar, that's your own problem. So if this holds, I will be quite satisfied. And it does, and it's heavy. Seems to me that the fi collar is reasonably durable if it can lift 90 pounds right off the ground. All right, let's see how the fi collar puts up to a pull from the big dogs. <laughs> I gotta hand it to Fi. This collar held its own with 90 pounds. And believe me, I gave that leash everything I had. What else? Oh, the app. It's sleek and intuitive. The whole user experience really clicks. There's one wrinkle though, the social media integration. I feel like it sort of clutters the app's landscape. I mean, not everything needs to be on social media, does it? But hey, I can see why some of you might dig that feature. Maybe I'm just old. Also, the collar comes in a range of five sizes and four colors to suit your pup's style and fit. It has an IP68 and IP66K waterproof rating, so it should be able to withstand some serious splash time. The company boasts up to three months of battery life on a single charge, though I've come across a few reviews that mention it lasting only a couple of weeks for some users. But don't worry, I'm gonna conduct my own tests. From taking a refreshing dip in a pool to a rigorous battery endurance analysis, I'll be diving deep into an in-depth review in the near future. So keep those ears perked and stay tuned. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. Either way, thanks for hanging with me on this one. I'll put a link to the Fi Collar in the description and keep it updated with the best deal that I know of. Until our next romp, keep those tails wagging.